It's been two days and Burlington residents continue to clean up from the intense storm that downed trees and hydro lines, leaving some still without power tonight. Nicole Martin reports. Hydro crews were a welcome sight for this neighborhood. <laughs> We've been without power for a few days now. It went out on Saturday lunchtime. Martin and Teresa Leiden are two of a few hundred still without power in the city. We're hoping that the vast majority, or if not everyone, has their power restored today. Burlington Hydro telling us additional crews from Niagara and North Bay are assisting. We have a, a really a full comp complement of ourselves. These assistance we're getting from other utilities and some of our contractors. So we're hoping to really plow through a lot today. From damaged wires to property, Saturday we showed you this large tree that had fallen on a home and vehicle on Delaware Avenue. It has since been removed, showing the destruction left behind. Sadly, this home in Burlington was one of the hardest hit, and neighbors living in the area dealing with property damage of their own say they were on hold with their insurance companies for over seven hours. It was like a war zone, trees everywhere. When Chris Dooley arrived home, he saw his large tree in the backyard snapped, sending branches tumbling down. We don't know how much damage there is because they have to take this all away before we really see how much damage there is, but it was uh, just incredible. And that's where Jack McFarlane comes in. Get whatever's on the ground off the ground and then start with the hazardous stuff. So the stuff on the house, the stuff that's hung up. So if it comes down, it's not gonna cause more damage. It's been a long, long weekend for McFarland Tree Care Incorporated. It's been nonstop, that's for sure. Jack and his crew have been working on up to 60 calls. The, the impact of the storm was, it, it felt like the first five minutes it just ripped through, did all the damage, and then after that, it kind of dissipated pretty quickly. But in that five, 10 minutes, it did a lot of carnage. But while waiting for repairs and the power to come back on, some have gotten creative. You cook breakfast on the barbecue. Yeah, <laughs> yeah have the gas barbecue at the back at least, where you're able to do something. Yeah. So toast and bacon and egg sandwiches. So it's, it's, it's not too sad, is it? <laughs> There were more than 22,000 Burlington Hydro customers without power at the peak of the storm. And when it comes to the cleanup, the city of Burlington is responsible for large branches like these and parks and sidewalks. But they do remind residents that they are responsible to bundle their small branches and they can put them out for the Halton Yardways program.